suck my soul She done it like ash, cash I keep on getting them flashbacks I was OT so I had to bash I almost thought about getting a cap All you guys gotta learn from Jack right here and build your brand Start posting, do your online How how you ever, you're just gonna wait on the sidelines And watch everybody like us I built my brand from prison Yeah It's like, it's fine, I'm pretty sure he's showing his house in his videos What the fudge is that, look at that Go look at that car, look at that car right there What is that what the fudge is that? What in the fudge? That's a, oh my God, bro. That's a McLaren Senna. Do you see the freaking wing on that? Oh my goodness. You got that? Yeah, yeah it's a race. Guys, that was the first time I've ever seen one of those in person, but I'm pretty sure he has Bugatti, so that's probably, that's even cooler. I gotta make it. How you doing? Hello, hello. Yo, this place is, yeah, we live. Yeah, how you, how you doing? doing? Dude, this house is crazy. It's a lot bigger on the inside than it looks on the outside. Yeah, a little, a little 25 mil. That's crazy. Yeah, these right here on the island, they're really different. They, you know, probably over that way at the ranches, you get way more for the money. Yeah, sort of, but they still tax me. I want a better driveway, though. Yeah, that's the only thing about living on the water is, like, you can't, you don't, you don't have space to put anything. Like, I got, like, a bunch of, like, Can-Ams and dirt bikes and stuff. You can't ride them out here. Yo, this place is crazy. This one next door has got a six car underground garage. This one's gonna be like a hundred miles. What's that? Three lots. Yeah, I saw on Zillow, because I'm a weirdo and I look up everyone's house yeah. on Zillow when they send me their address. Sorry. I'm, just, okay. I'm really into real estate. You probably do the same thing, you know? But uh, I, know I saw price, that. I don't know the price of everything. Yeah, yeah, that, exactly. I saw that that house was a, uh, like, there was a whole huge, like, a bunch of lots open next door to you. But. I wonder if they're doing that, but I love looking at houses and then having an open lot next to it. And I'll be like, damn, buy them both because we need land. But land on the water here is like literally, how much do you think that lot went for right next door? Yeah, that whole lot. Mil. Really? Probably more. Yeah, I bet you more. 40 mil? Yeah, probably. Because I feel I like this one's like, this one was like 17 or more. And just for the lot? Make, yeah, they're barely making anything on the, off the pad. Oh, shit. Yo, that's crazy. These Russians buy this whole island right here. Yeah, that is that. gangster ass Russian fools. I'm gonna I'm switch Richie's for when we hop in the whip because this one don't match the Bugatti. I mean, that one matches my Lambo though. Dude, th this one is a good one. I think only LeBron and there's probably 50 of these in the world. There's only 60 of those uh, pure sports. One of my boy has eight of them. So between me, Tate, and my homie, there's only 50 left in the fucking world. Damn. This one's one of 30, but it's not. That one's sick as fuck. That yeah. one matches my black phantom. I have a black phantom with that color interior, a mansory one. Yeah, it's hard. That one matches it perfectly. Yeah. I want one like that. That one's fire. Yeah, the, the carbon. The, uh, yeah. the bigger face. The all red goes crazy. I know those motherfuckers from uh, uh, Bugatti Broward, Lambo Broward. They'll get me one. They said a million, a million bucks, 20000 a month. Not bad. For what? Like a, they put down a million bucks? Yeah. And then it's a 20 k a month for how long? I don't know, probably 60 or something, 40 something. Months. How, how much was the Bugatti? I think it was over five mil. People think that those are fucking, they, li they get the list price, it's, oh, it's 4.5, bullshit. Yeah. Not for the Pure Sport 23. It's brand new? Of those. Yeah, it's a 2023. Damn. It's not brand new, but. How I much do you have to put down on that? Uh, Two million. Damn. You gotta stay on camera. I mean, I grew up watching Scarface my whole life. I did 10 years in the penitentiary. Been through a lot. You gotta have the cameras running 24 fucking seven, especially around here. I've had people jump my fucking fence right here just to check my car door handles. I run the fuck out there, they're already gone. Uh, yeah, someone tried to do that to me. Someone broke into my property this morning and tried to steal my Lamborghini. When Jack woke up and realized something was very wrong, he immediately went through the CCTV footage of his backyard and saw a suspicious dude. Yeah, these are one of those for the red one. Those thieves must have been amateurs because it wasn't smooth at all, and there was some stuff they clearly didn't think through when planning the heist. Someone tried to steal my Lambo right out my driveway this morning, but couldn't figure out how to open the gate. They stole my keys, though. They got away. John keys. ain't having it because he'll fucking smash them anyway. Exactly. Shoot them. Throw on your property. It's Florida. Kitchen. You gotta have. I mean. If you don't have everything built in, if you still have one of them white fridges. Yeah, that, that's exactly what I do. Everyone tells me I'm a clown for renting properties, You're but stupid. they don't know I own almost 30 houses right now and they all get rented out and that's what pays my rent. It's like, yeah, it's if I put all my money into one house, there's no, there's no income backing it. You know, it's like, it's a, if you have enough liability. monthly rental income to pay off your mortgage, then you never have to worry about anything. 
say your mortgage is 50K a month and you have 100K in income, you'll never have to worry about paying your mortgage. Not, Free house. One, not one person at the highest level will like their fucking house enough to live here for 10, 20, 30 fucking years. That's fine. It's not going to fucking happen. I'm already over this place. I've been here like a year. I already want something bigger. I move so fucking quick. You realize that the biggest yachts that are built, by the time the yacht is even built, it's already dated, it's already for sale, and the guy's already building another one. Like this shit, you don't live in the, a house like this, you don't buy it to live in the rest of your life unless you're some fucking idiot who never changes his taste. You know? <laughs> Facts, fair enough. I like to okay switch it up. I've lived in like seven different houses since I moved out of my parents' house. That's how you gotta do it. Exactly. Take it how, how, much, how much is it a month in rent for here? 95,000. Holy shit. I thought, I, I have to pay 60K a month. My landlord bumped to 10K. Oh, 60K is nothing. Yeah, I know. And you have two houses, right? You have one in LA? Yeah, one in Cali, 65. Fuck. My landlord just moved my rent from 50K to 60K and I was pressed, but like, it's whatever. Dude, yeah, when you make millions a month, what the fuck's a, what the fuck's a hundred grand of, of money, you know? Like, I mean, not all of us make millions a month, but I mean, you know, yeah, I get it, I get it. Yeah, totally. We're close to three right here. Okay, okay, yeah. Well, we'll take the elevator, we're going- It's hundred K a day. Are we going Let's fucking- Let's take the elevator. Yeah. Okay, got an elevator? Slacking if you don't got an elevator nowadays. Yeah, sure. How many people can come in here? Probably one of, one of, one of you guys. All right, come in. Yeah, get her. All right, ready? See ya. Oh. That's cool. Yeah, it's kind of hard. You scared of elevators, huh? Miami's got to be modern. If you don't have a... If you get these modern pads, you usually don't get the driveway like those big old Spanish ones over on uh, Palm Island and Hibiscus Island and Star Island. But all the more modern ones are like over here. Yeah, I, I love houses like this. I would definitely like rent one of these if... This is a master bedroom. That's fire. These 95 doors, bands a month. These doors open all the way up to the wall opens all the way up. You just watch your cameras all day? That was my, that was my ex chick. But what, she what'd was, you say? She was saying, uh... I'm Instagram famous. I'm Instagram that, famous was, bitch or some shit. Yeah, it was, it was, I'm Instagram famous, you fucking bum. That's what it was. Yeah. <laughs> that shit was actually kind of funny. I'm not going to lie. She went pretty viral for that. My, my wife doesn't go online, really. She does small like, shit. But, uh, yeah, that chick was, uh... That's funny. She was an issue. <laughs> I'm Instagram famous, you fucking bum. <laughs> yeah, you are. Yeah, you could jump off here into the pool. I wouldn't do it. Why not? I don't know. I don't think you'd make it. I would. I'm a good, I'm a good jumper. <laughs> Wait, is it still epic? Yeah, all you guys got to learn from Jack right here and build your fucking brand. Start posting. Do your shit online. How How you ever... You're just going to wait on the sidelines and watch everybody like us. I built my brand from prison. Literally in the penitentiary, I was posting on my social media knowing that I would come out and monetize that. Here's a picture from prison on my Instagram. I post, if you scroll all the way down there, all my pictures are in black and white. I got, out five, I got out five and a half years ago. So all these pictures are in black and white from me in prison. And then you flash forward to where I'm at today. It was because I started it back then and I knew what the fuck it was gonna be. I mean, the first time I posted on Instagram, I saw a hashtag and I saw, I liked that people were posting positive shit and showing like a workout pic or a picture of something positive. And I'm like, I like that shit. I need that shit in my life. So it looked valuable to me and I used it and made it here today. Yeah. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, what do you gotta say about people that like hate on you? What do you got to say oh, to the haters man. out there? I, I mean, I, I literally, I vibrate at such a high frequency. To people that hate in general, <coughs> whoa. To people, that, to people that hate in general, you know? Like, what do you got to say to people that just be hating to anyone? I mean, they're just not even giving themselves a good day. If you're not worth a good day and you're spending your moments hating on other people, anytime you, anything you release is what you possess. So if you're releasing hate to the world, hate to other people, you're just filled with hate. It's ruining your day. I wouldn't even give people negativity because I'm worth a positive day. I love my fucking life. I lived in prison for fucking 10 years. You think I'm gonna fucking sit here and make negative events take place? I really lived in a negative place where you had to be positive. Everyone out here lives in a positive place and they choose to be negative. They don't realize why their life's fucked up. You can't vibrate from these low frequency uh, emotions and this mindset and think you're gonna attract a great life. I mean, in all reality, what you give is what you get. And people need to understand this shit. These people are fucking losers, though, and they know it. They know they ain't worth shit. Facts. Yo, you hear that, haters? Hop off my dick. Fuck, no, I'm kidding. But for real, if, if you do nothing all day besides hate on people, like, you, you are what you, you get what you put out, you know? 
It's like if you put out negative energy, you're going to get back negative energy and nothing good's going to happen to you in life because you're so focused on negative stuff and trying to cope as to why you're not in this person's place or like, like just trying to give yourselves reasons to you know, feel sorry for yourself as to why you're not in the place you want to be in life. People hate on what they gave up on. And they gave up on Richie's. They gave up on mansions. They gave up on dope cars. They gave up on the money. They gave up on being a good person who'd have a good fucking day. Literally, I ain't some like preaching positive ass motherfucker all the time. I have to talk myself out of smashing motherfuckers heads in all day. I have security to protect other people from me, not the other way around, motherfucker. Why? I understand that. Because literally, I'll kill people. So but for I, over what? For what? Just because they bother the fuck out of me. Even if a, va- a valets have to be told how to fucking receive me if I come to a restaurant. Touch his, don't touch his fucking paint. Grab the door handle. Let him pay when he leaves. Don't fucking talk to him too much. I mean, I just, I don't operate too well around normal people because they're stupid. They're in their position, they're in the same position they're in because they're not that educated. They're, they don't understand what the fuck's happening. <laughs> the motherfucker pushes my phantom door with his hand on the paint. I go, motherfucker. Have you ever had your car washed? And he goes, um, what? I said, have you ever had your fucking car washed before? And he goes, oh, come on, Wes. I said, nah, dog, have you ever washed your fucking car? And he goes, oh, come on, bro. I said, do you want someone putting their fucking hand all over it? And I grab oh, him by his neck, and I'm holding him by his neck. I'm like, I'm like, you stupid motherfucker. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. So there was a time in my life where, before I went to prison, I asked my ex-chick's dad, and I said, how much is this? This place, it was like, it's like a 14 or 15 million dollar house in La Jolla. And he said, it's like a hundred grand a month or something. That was like what the mortgage was or some shit. And I'm like, damn, how the fuck would you ever pay a hundred grand a month? Now we're living it. Now we're here. Now we got Richie's on. Now Hell we're yeah. living it. But the thing is, look at, I have all this shit. You've seen all this shit. If I don't get up and work hard every day to be where I want to be, I don't see it. I'm just as negative as all you motherfuckers. If I don't go do positive acts all day and raise myself up and build my confidence, he does a lot of shit. You guys may hate on him because, like, he's putting out his content. You may want the shit. You think he's a little bit too flossy or whatever the fuck. Your judgments of a motherfucker. But the whole point is, is he's putting in a lot of fucking work. If you put in the amount of work that he did in your own way, you'd be getting it too. But you're not. Facts. It's also like I feel like people come at me more because I'm young and they just like hate to see me do well at such a young age. And it's, but just it's, like, just, it's a numbers game. Yeah. I mean, if you if you see how many people hate on me online, it's just as much, if not yeah. more. I have plenty of people that try to fucking... They, if people say what you're doing is wrong, then they don't have to change. They don't have to do anything. If they say what me and him are doing isn't real or it's wrong or it's rented or this, then they don't have to get up tomorrow and change their fucking life because they act like it's all fake online. But it ain't fake. This is where the fuck I live. Like, I literally switch phantoms wherever I want to go to dinner and have my driver follow me in the Bugatti with the straps on him in case you want a fucking problem. You know? <laughs> yeah, that's crazy, for real. That's just really how it be. Right. Hey. Let's do it. Let's go mash this shit. You're right. Bugatti time. Do we take the elevator down? No, I'm kidding. Yeah, take it. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Door, I just feel like it's just like a boop, wait a couple of seconds, and go down. No, yeah, definitely would be fun. Bugatti. Okay, uh, where's the bathroom? Uh, right here on the left, on the other side of the wall. Cool, cool. Should we, should we... There's so much more to this house. This house is so lit, but it is expansive. That is not the bathroom. Um, this is the bathroom, chat. Look, levitating toilet. What if you're fat as fuck? But if you're a fat motherfucker, just break that shit. I swear to God, if you're 400 pounds, bro, there's no way. You start to normalize a life like this. Get around people who make a life like this very fucking normal. It's regular to us. To, I mean, regular cars became SVJs, Ferraris, Rolls Royces, everything. And that's what you want to be around. People who normalize the most difficult things to do in life. Because then you learn from them how to get it done. You know what's up. Your garage is too damn small. How many garages are there? There's just this one. This is a one car garage? Oh, with the lift, yeah. One? Guys, you get, for a hundred bands a month, you get a one car garage. That shit's hard. Shoes. Oh yeah, shoes. Should we just back out first? 